Hey guys, welcome back to Rockfish Farm. Tonight we're on a special date night. We are in Vail, North Carolina and we are going to a horse auction. How awesome is that? I used to go to horse auctions as a kid and I remember going in the winter time and we would get the hot chocolate there and walk around and look at all the horses. I don't ever remember buying a horse from there, but I just remember it being so much fun. So it's just my husband and I tonight we don't have the kids with us, so we have an overnight trip, overnight stay by ourselves. We're pretty excited just about that itself. But we're headed to the auction now. They have a tax sale at five o'clock, so we're gonna browse that a little bit. And then the horses go out at eight, but we're gonna be there a little bit early. We wanna scope out the horses and kind of check them out, hopefully get a chance to kind of see them ride and move. So this is our first horse auction, my first horse auction as like an adult and actually going to possibly purchase. So what I really would love to do, I would love to find a really great horse. I'm gonna be pretty picky about it. And I just wanna to go to auctions and you know, find that perfect horse that can be a really great kid's horse, something really quiet. And I know you can find it at auctions. And some of them are a little bit more high quality than others. I'm not sure about this one. This is obviously the first time we're going to it. So I'm just there to kind of scope out what these horses are like, you know, what they have to offer, what prices they're going for. I don't know that we'll purchase tonight. I think we're kind of more so scoping it out, but you never know. If the right thing comes along, then So we're kind of on the lookout for a couple different things. Uh, I'm looking for something that is kid safe, obviously, always something, you know, I love the droopy lips. Um, I'm looking for something for my husband. He has expressed an interest in going on trail rides. We just got this new horse trailer that has a living quarters attached to it. So he's kind of expressed a little bit of an interest. I'm looking for like a Percheron quarter horse cross for him. I think. In my mind, that would be perfect for him. Perfect size. He's six foot two? Wow. Five. Five. And so I think that would be good for him. Something not super tall to kind of scare him because he's never really ridden before, uh, but something that's bulky enough to carry him. And then I'm kind of keeping an eye out for, for a good, safe kid's horse. I love a gypsy banner. If I see a gypsy banner tonight, it's over. It's over. Uh, it's coming on with us. I've got another friend who is an adult looking for a good, safe trail riding horse, maybe something gated. Kind of keeping my eyes out for all the things. Uh, but again, gonna be pretty picky. So anyways, I'm just gonna take you along. We're gonna scope everything out and look at these horses, watch the bidding ring, uh, check out some tack, and we're just gonna take you along for the ride. Okay, we're just pulling in. I'm so excited. We called and they have at least 40 horses and then they say that more come in. So um, I'm so excited. I can Turn see right. some of the horses standing out at the trailers and there's a guy in a go-kart right here. Turn so. left. Then your destination will be know. on the right. I don't know what that's about, but anyways, let's go get our bidding number. We need to do that first and uh, look at this. All right, we need to go and find where they're riding at so we can see them. So they're marked for either than sold? Yeah, I think they're marked for either than sold. We just arrived to the auction. We're starting to look around and we're seeing that a lot of these horses are skinny, which we kind of assumed would be the case. This girl on the right, she was obviously underweight. She had a lump on her knee there and she also was missing one of her eyes. This paint is pretty. Very pretty. This black one here had a lot of rain rot on her butt, very underweight, toes were kind of long, 
which we did see a lot of tonight. Huh? So we're gonna go in there and watch because they're already busy. That's the attack. What is that one? This is a blue roan and she was so pretty and so sweet. We did kind of think that she had a baby in that belly. She kind of moved like she did, so I don't know. They didn't say, but I was kind of skeptical for sure. And here, I'm just asking this guy about these red marks through the numbers. Typically, that means they were previously sold the night before if there was an auction. There wasn't the night before here, so I don't know. Some of them had marks and some of them didn't. I'll probably have to call the office and just make sure to see. But sometimes that's a sign of like a horse trader. They buy it the night before and they sell it the next day. There definitely was some traders here, but I'm just not sure what that means as far as the red mark. Now these two I'm definitely interested in. I'm taking down their numbers here. This front one is a Mustang. I can't remember the age on it at the moment and the one behind it I think was five or six years old. These came from a boarding facility where the owner quit paying. So the owner of the barn has brought them in here to sell them tonight. The one in the back is the one I'm more so interested in. While they're a little underweight, everything else looked really good. And this is just the perfect scenario where it's not brought in by a horse trader. It's brought in by someone who just got behind on their board and they were just ready to get rid of them pretty quickly. He's not turning his book to you. When speaking with the owner, they said that they she knows that they have been trail ridden, but didn't know much else other than that. When I asked if they make a good kids horse, she really didn't know. Honestly, while they look kind of scared here, like I said, obviously it's to be expected, but they were actually pretty darn quiet, and I really think either one of them but especially that one behind this Mustang would make a really good kid's horse. I'm definitely taking note to these. Now this is a Tennessee Walker and she is so beautiful. Look at that mane, that tail. Her front feet were a little bit too long. She did have shoes, I believe, all the way around. Now, while some good farrier work can probably do some good to these feet, it's just a matter of how long have they been like this? You know, is it changing bone structure? Is it causing a little bit of lameness here? You know, it's obviously probably not comfortable for her to walk like that, but it's just something you can't really take a chance on when you don't have a vet here to tell you, you know, what's going on. So you have to be really picky when you come to these things and, and pick out anything and just kind of steer clear of anything that doesn't look right. But she was so pretty, a little underweight, but his eyes are real wild so too. so pretty my yeah, dad loves a Tennessee Walker so that is one of the things on my list but I think today I'm gonna have to pass on her just because of those feet up there it's not a bad one, isn't it? Yeah. Could be to this <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> His name is Stanky. Stinky, Stanky, Stanky. 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 <laughs> oh, you're so cute! 
Be very careful in there. This one was so sweet, but I did not love the angle that her front feet were at. And I did try to age her. Uh, she did not want me digging in her mouth, so I just leave her alone there. The one I was looking at prior, I mentioned, might have Cushing, something metabolic going on there. She had very thick, kind of almost curly fur there. I expected to see this here tonight, although this was the only one I was surprised. She was in pretty bad shape, very, very skinny, very pitiful. Ugh. So, so sad that someone can let a horse get like that. This one was really sweet. Look at these eyes. Huh? They have the most precious eyes, but definitely much, much older. Had a hard time telling with the teeth. Uh, probably definitely over the age of 23 for sure, I would say. But so sweet. This horse was precious. Just checking out her teeth. I always check the age myself and, you know, go by what I think, compare it to what they say. Sometimes they're just guessing, and I did see a couple here tonight where they would tell me one age, and I would look in the mouth and go, mm, I don't think that's the age, you know, but obviously you don't say anything. This one had three shoes missing and one on, so, um, definitely underweight you just got to check it all out yeah. and then when you're interested in one see it move that's gonna be the kicker so you'll see in this next horse that I'm getting ready to look at I actually asked the guy to um, get on it and ride it for me so that I could see it move all right so this one I was definitely interested in and I muted the video here because this is I found out one of the uh, horse traders. They know him here by name. So this horse is a paint. It was super sweet. He got it, this one along with four others from a therapeutic riding center. When they get a little older, they end up selling them. And so they end up in the hands of a horse trader who is looking to just make some money. He got these, I believe he said within the past week. And he says they got rid of her because when they get up in age, they get rid of them. She was super sweet. So I did ask him to ride her for me and um, I just wanted to see her move. So I'm out seeing this horse move and unfortunately I noticed right away this horse is incredibly lame. So, so stiff in the hind end, paddling in the front. I noticed she was tender in the front couldn't really tell in the video. She also had a little lump on her neck there. And I just felt so bad for this horse because a little bit later in the evening as he was getting her warmed up some more, he was just spanking on her because she wasn't moving forward. And it's just, it stinks. She's, she's clearly hurting. And uh, it's just so unfortunate. But yeah, this will not be the horse for us. But she was very sweet, so it was a little disappointing.
Cornelius X, selling $5 the same way as the last deal. 7742. Here's a professional choice. This one is a 15 year old paint and she had two blue eyes. She was super sweet and so pretty. She used to be a barrel racer. Uh, they said that she really wasn't that fast. Uh, they said now that she's just kind of a babysitter. She likes to trail ride. She likes to be out front on the trail. Uh, overall, I think she looked pretty good. She had a little mark on her front left foot from the trailer is what the lady was telling me this lady was so sweet and so cute uh, she just she loved these horses they are just pasture fed so they didn't get any grain overall I thought this horse looked great and sounded pretty good this is another one of her horses that she had here at the trailer this is a 12 year old and they said that this horse likes to follow on the trails and seemed super quiet and super sweet Overall, I thought this sounded like a great horse. I think with these two horses, you know, while they're great options, I just didn't get a feeling from them. I didn't get like a connection with them, like, like I needed to bring them home today. You know, they're sweet, they sounded right, but eh, I don't know why. I mean, they interested me. We'll see what they go for in the rings in a little bit when we head inside, but Overall, not bad choices, but just wasn't feeling it. Now these two were full of personality. I loved them. This Palomino, oh my goodness, how gorgeous is this thing? The owner was not around, so I really didn't get any information on these two. I really want something that I know has been ridden before. You know, I'm not looking to start something from complete scratch. I just want to build upon something that's already there. This one has a little bit of a lump on its hind end. Other than that, it looks so good. It's so sweet just watching me walk around it. I really liked this one. Didn't have a number on it, so I think they're probably going to get registered. But I think overall this one, it looks pretty good. If I can find the owner... We'll try to get some information on these two. So sweet. <laughs> Buddy, I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> All right, I've asked another lady to uh, ride her horse so I can watch it move, and I'm trying to not look at that cute pony over there because that thing is so adorable, but I do not need one of those right now. So this is a quarter horse mare. She looks like she's moving pretty good. This lady, another great scenario. She just had too many horses and she was looking to free up some space in her barn. I think she said she had over 20 horses, but she was really sweet. I felt like she was very honest. Uh, she had a great looking horse here. And uh, definitely take a note to watch this one go through the ring tonight. I have been hunting down this Appaloosa and this Halflinger all night. <laughs> they were in a picture that was posted on their website, and I am a sucker for an Appaloosa. I love Appaloosas, but they've got to be quiet. An Appaloosa was my very first horse growing up. I spoke with this guy, and these were actually not his horses. His neighbor or a friend uh, had passed away, and they had asked him to bring these two to the auction to sell tonight. They were both super quiet. The Appaloosa was definitely more quiet than the Halflinger, 
but they both looked like really great options and we've got a halflinger already and I absolutely love him. So this halflinger was a mare. I am trying my hardest to stick to geldings. At least for a little while, I just think they make better kids' horses. Now, of course, there's always going to be a mare that uh, will be a good option. But to me, I just love the geldings, and I'm ready to kind of get some geldings here on the farm. This one had a lot of scratches on it. It looked a little beat up, but overall, from what I could tell without removing the saddle, uh, in pretty good shape. And the picture that I saw looked pretty good. But yeah, super quiet. I am looking forward to see this one go through the ring tonight for sure. We just went into the tax sale, hey, still going on. They had a lot of good stuff, still working on saddles, but it should start here in just a few minutes. We walked outside and I found this thing right away. This is a nine-year-old mare. Such a great demeanor. I mean, so awesome. I asked him to ride. And right away, I saw, obviously, lame. Looks like definitely hind end and looks like definitely front end as well. She's got a lot of buttons, though. I mean, four quarter turns, hind quarter yields. I mean, just a really well-trained horse. It's just unfortunate uh, that she is lame and only being at nine years old, you know, so unfortunately, she also is just not for us. The horses are about to start inside. So we were heading that way and I saw this cute little thing. She is a pretty young Appaloosa or POA maybe even, just kind of depends. I thought she was pretty young, so she still could be getting some height on her, but she was standing so still and I just loved her markings. I thought she was she just so, so beautiful. Again, a little younger than what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to start something from scratch. I want something that is ready to go for a child, just needs some more work. All right, we're back in the bidding arena, and first off are these two cute little ponies, the little one that had one eye that we saw in the very beginning when we first walked in. So I'm just going to kind of post the prices, and we'll see what these go for. All right, let's see how much this one goes for. Yes, I passed on him. 
as I'm sitting here editing this video, I wish I didn't because the more I thought about it, the more I really thought he would be such a great addition. I do wish he was a little bit taller and I didn't get a chance to see him move. And that's one of the reasons why he just, he looked really great, but I didn't see him trot or canter off. I actually have plans to maybe go back in about two weeks and see if she puts him through again. And if I can find her beforehand, I'm going to see him move and we may bring that cute thing to our house. This is the Mustang that was with him. So cute. My daughter would love to have a Mustang. Uh, but for right now, I think he was just a little bit too skittish when I first approached. So we're going to definitely pass on him too. Boys, here's a blue wrong walking man. He's 70 grades to the coach all over the last four years. Mostly quit road earlier. She looked like the same. Don't see nothing wrong with it. She's a gentle boy, but she needs tuned up. Now she ain't been road. She raised four colts. All right, well, I'll make it very good. Like she's eight or nine years old. Well, I'll make it very good. I'll do it again. I'm beautiful. Blue Rock's walking there. Well, I'll make it very good. I'll do it again. Eight, twelve. Eight, twelve. Eight, twelve. Eight, twelve. Eight, twelve. I could not believe they rode this horse in. This was the one that was so incredibly skinny. It's just so sad that people let their horses get this way. It is just so unfortunate. I mean, ugh, breaks my heart. I wish I had all the money in the world to take this thing home. It did end up selling for, I think, maybe 250 bucks, something like that. Uh, but the amount that you will have to put into this horse when it gets home is just going to be astronomical. But I would do it if I had all the money in the world. And unfortunately, I just, I don't. I'm not a rescue. But, oh, so sad. Last night it got a little bit too dark to record anything, so we're actually headed home now. We, unfortunately, are heading home empty-handed sadly, but honestly, it's just not the right time yet. I do plan on purchasing from an auction when I find the absolute perfect thing to purchase, but we're just not set up at home currently for this. We need to have a quarantine pasture set up with a shelter in it for this so that you separate that horse for about 30 days so that you're not spreading any germs if that horse has anything when it comes home to your property. I was interested in that cute little quarter pony last night and I'm waking up this morning still thinking about that thing. I think I might try to go back in two weeks and see if they put that through again. They did not sell it, it no sale because they wanted more than what the bidder was offering. So it was the perfect scenario. They were two of this girl's boarders horses that they were behind on their board payments. And so the girl was just bringing them to the auction to get rid of them. So I really didn't see that pony take a lame step at all. There were quite a few lame ones there last night, which I was really expecting. There were a lot of horse traders. Uh, so it's important when you go to these things to just talk to the owners if you can. And you know, talk to these people and you can find out very quickly which ones were the horse traders and of course all the ones that they had were uh, lame. Overall I thought it was a great auction. There were definitely a few that I would consider purchasing there. There were some people that were you could tell were dishonest but then also there were some that you could tell were honest. I would talk with some of the owners, even spoke to one and I asked would you recommend this for as a child's horse and he said no I just would not and so 
you know, you can't blame them. And, um, you know, you can tell real quick when you're talking with these people what the deal is with them. Overall, I thought it was great. It was a great learning experience for us. We had a lot of fun. Uh, sitting on those bleachers was not very fun. It was pretty hot in there. It did end up cooling off, but the bleachers were so hard. So I think we need some of those cushioned pads. Are we old? Does that mean we're old? <laughs> I think so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to check out some other auctions in our area over the next couple months and just start keeping our eye out for that perfect thing to bring home. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.